Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to that there vanilla Hearts of Iron Forum. Your host, Mr. A State of America Confederated Lover, in which we are, well, actually, we were invading Japan. We, had, we, did, we went with about nine, ten divisions here. A mixture of cavalry and marines, which is kind of honestly very weird to use as templates, but you know, whatever. Um, we're just going to hang out. We took out the southern island of Kyushu, and we're here to have a good time. And we definitely need to increase the airbase size of this area down here so we can actually do and wage war effectively. But we'll see what we can do. Can we actually break over? No, we cannot. That kind of sucks. Can we break over here? Probably not. Yeah, we're going to struggle down here just a wee bit. But we do have some... Actually, everyone here in Brazil is pretty much ready to go. We've been ready to go for a while, actually. So at this point, um, you guys looking okay. Can we just go ahead and kill the Brazilians? No. In 10 days, though, we can. In 10 days. Um, other than that, we've been just doing some more focuses and stuff like that. We're supporting Rock Island. I mean, I've read through all these before, so if you'd like to read these, please go right ahead. Like, select a training act, or, you know, the U.S. has historically been slow to adopt a draft. Even in times of war, we are no longer able to afford this luxury. Build the Pentagon. The expansion of the military requires a new global headquarters to command it. The Department of Defense. Rename the War Department under lives that we can no longer choose to ignore our protection until the moment it is tested. We must always be vigilant. Lysian maneuvers. Budget constraints to force us to observe many military developments from afar now. We can finally draw out some of our theories in practice. Uh, U.S. Army, basically. For the fights that would come, the U.S. Army is too small to oversee the dramatic increase in size we'll have to accomplish. We'll need to create a new organization, the Women's Armed Service Integration Act. We cannot afford to turn away anyone who wishes to serve. Every woman in uniform frees up a man to fight at the front and support Rock Island. Supporting our brave troops in any way we can is key to victory. Be the, uh, laying down heavy artillery fire from a distance or more direct support on the battlefield. We must make sure our troops have everything they need. And first, push for, uh, first special service force. Operations behind enemy lines in inhospitable territory will be part of any global conflict. Forming commander units to fulfill these roles is essential to our future and warfare. Or future warfare. Warfare future. Yes. Marines. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, did I tell you guys to go? Oh. Huh. That's alright. And be, uh, you know, I'll grab that. I won't actually use it probably, but that's okay. Um, in the meantime, uh, I don't know how much I really want to come over here. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. We're bombing them. This is a carrier. Beautiful. If that's the case, I'll take you three. And I'll just naval invade from here to... There you go. Spread up fast enough. We'll be fine. Six million manpower, and we're still mobilizing a little bit more. Probably not going to blow a canal, but that's alright. Maybe next time. Uh, we'll warp up again. It would be good later on, maybe. Get some of that, too. Uh, I don't care about that. Paramilitary training? Nah, we're good. Uh, Brazil? Some yours? They join Australia. Also, we have like different factions here. Bolivarian Alliance, of course, with the Japanese. With the Pact of Rome, the Southwest Pacific, or Pact, or whatever it is, the European Syndicate, and we have the European Defense League. Oh, God. There's just so much we got to kill here. So much. We'll see how far we get. We might not conquer the entire world. We might not conquer that very much at all. We'll see. But in the meantime, we got a lot of subs. And by, when I say a lot of subs, I mean I do mean a lot of subs. Well, since you're out of fuel anyway, you might as well do that. Oh, there's a long combos, huh? You ready to go? They're ready to go. Good luck, Marines. Surround and encircle. There you go. Head in. Event. Oh, well now we get an advanced line after we do all that stuff. Oh, it's already 45. I did not realize that. Okay. And then do that too. Or, yeah. As long as they don't come in, that's all we care about. And there we go. War's over. Pretty much. Um, Go ahead. Do what you can. Anything else here? Marines? Yeah, cool. Go through there if you can, and have you guys go through there and go to Osaka. No, if you two want, you guys actually go through here and invade Hiroshima. It'll be fine. Basically, the same thing like we did earlier. Oh, do you guys actually win? Oh, there you go. Oh, are we out of stuff? Oh. Well, whatever. How are we doing against Brazil? Brazil. Half tracks. Not bad. 245,000 losses for them is not bad.
Oh, whoa. Guangxi clique has done really well, I guess. Oh, Korea's doing Korean things, okay. Well, all right. There we go, have fun. Where the Marines go? Oh, they're still Navy. Oh, they're trying to Navy invade. Okay. That makes sense. <clears throat> Three divisions, two divisions. There. Yes, go ahead and make it. That's fine, whatever. Surround and destroy if you can. Oh, they threw their tanks there. Wow. Weirdos. Now you guys. Can you actually do anything there, maybe? How would you force the attack? See what happens. Get a Hiroshima. Or Hiroshima, some people call it, too. We invaded with more soldiers, but whatever. It is what it is. Cool. Come on, don't lose it, you ding dongs. Break through, break through. Good. Go in there as well. Oh, there's our guys, yeah, nice. Come on, go in, go in, go in, go in. This is the worst part right now, fighting through this. You're not gonna, you're gonna have to do this. Good, you gotta hold it there, you gotta hold it there. Nice, they all died, that's awesome. Now, let's go through there. Should be enough to kill them all off. Hey, task force has been destroyed. Nice. Good job, guys. How many soldiers they have left in Japan? We'll get some comms to go through as well. Brazil, Australia, up to 24. That's not much. That's good. And Brazil's looking very, not, not very good. Where's Brazil on this map? Not bad. Not bad at all. Struggle a little bit from here to here, but that's alright. These guys are definitely struggling through here too, but you know, what else is new? Morocco Island, why not? Airport divisions? Why not? Developments on the range of payloads and planes have opened up a number of possibilities. Cargo planes can deliver a full division of troops far beyond enemy lines where they could wreck havoc. Sure, guys. Sure. Well, how about you just go here? Well, I guess you can now. Oh, god dang. You ding dongs. There you go. Now, one solid front line. Convoy sunk. Oh. Now we're done with our land doctrine. Finally. Oh, do we get this effort done for these guys? Whoopsie. Whoopsie. The answer is yes. Whoopsie. Yeah, this cavalry is not bad. 21 combo with. I don't know. I've been kind of experimenting with some combat wits. See what the things are like. Especially, you can't really screw up as America that badly. I mean, don't, I mean, don't get me wrong. You still can, but like... You got a lot of leeway when it comes to playing America. A lot of leeway. Horse boys, go up there if you can. We're worth Cuba as well. Alright. So I'm gonna say, asks from the uh, last video, well, last, well, last couple of videos, why does it say Man the Guns in the title? That's because uh, uh, this focus tree was part of the Man the Guns DLC. When it released, God, years ago already, Jesus. Wait, 4 is getting old. 
Oh, Brazil's gone. Yay. Goodbye, Brazil. Good. Better subby boys. Nice. I never got to that cruiser hole, whatever. At this point, we're, we're pretty much near the end. So. I don't think it'll matter too much. Nope. Marine 2, Marine 3s. Oh, that's the last division. That sucks. Oh, the one that went through here. Why is this all separated? What the heck is going on here? Why are you so stupid? Seriously, it's the AI. It's so incredibly stupid, man. Alright, so this these guys down here. Honestly, even though we could, I don't really feel like taking out the UK. So, I'm going to actually tell you guys to go back, come back up here. Capital of Richmond, which is very nice. Do this too. And then... You all. Oh, there goes the fall of Tokyo. Alright, so let's divide it up. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I'm not going to add that stuff. I don't really care. Uh, the Canals of Ireland. I don't think we really care about Ireland too much. South America is pretty tasty, though. I'm not sure where this is, so I'm going to take it anyways. Venezuela, Argentina, Paraguay, Colombia. Italy can have Yugoslavia and Romania. I'll take all the sugar in it. Wow. That's a lot of British. That's why I don't want to take them out. That's really disgusting. Why the heck are they... Oh, we're... we're oh, that's right. We were at the War of the Soviet Union originally. That is right. Holy crap. Holy fathers. Of course, they helped with Poland in there, too. And I guess to find the Pact of Rome as well. Jesus Christ. Wow, they've done really well in the south here. Great Zimbabwe. Why is Great Zimbabwe so big? Do they have any focus tree? Oh, just South Africa, I guess. Oh, yeah, makes sense. I guess, but still. That is a great, great Zimbabwe. Well, since we're here, anyways. Um... Something like that. Ships? At least take out Cuba, right? I mean, as Americans, we have to. Nope. Upgrades? Not really too much to really care about. No ship? Nice. Good. Modern tanks. Xylophones. If you really want to make them, that's fine with me. I don't really care. Four subs. So we're done making all those old stuff. Guys, stop asking for manpower. What do you want? You know, I want to help them out as much as I can. But if I get, get involved, that could really hurt supply for us. So if that's the case, what's on like one group maybe? I guess there's a lot of enemies. We could be killing off China too, I guess, too. But I'll be honest, I don't really want to fight China. Especially late game. As much as I want to send nukes into China. I don't really want to. Well, these guys are going back home too. But after airborne divisions, what do we have? And eventually the Americas. I mean, we pretty much took out the, all the Americas already. So, it's probably not worth looking at that. Air support. Should we do bombing? I always go air support. Area warfare must first and foremost be used as conjunct with other military purposes. Pretty much. <clears throat> yeah, I guess at the very least for this episode. Let's find a one. Might as well try to take out all these uh 
At least Cuba. Cuba needs to die. Nothing personal, Cuban, but you're Cuban. Cast effort. Modern army needs support for vehicles not from only from the ground, but also in the air. Wow. Is that it? I guess. Francis, thank you. German Empire Sapphire's done. I thought they were already dead, but whatever. Alright, more hangar space. Nice. Yeah, that's a good one. You're done. We have 79 motors, rocket, artillery. Throwing them on here would not be possible. Excavation, fuel, because you can. Can we just deploy like a bunch of planes so that they can use them? Got a crap ton of, of these bombers. Airports, airports, airports. Come down here and bomb the living crap out of them. And if anything, actually, we'll do it like this. Both groups bomb the roads, bomb the railroads, bomb supply points. That's why they can't do anything. Oh, all this other stuff. Bomb the forts too, maybe? Up here. No, I can't go up there. Okay, uh, here. There you go. Are we out of anti tank? Oh, that sucks. And after that, you should do that too. Should be fine. Good to go? Let's hope so. Hopefully we don't fail too hard here. Alright, the guys are off. Oh. Okay then. Civil War, nice. And the dogs are running. Oh, wow, they repaired the Suez Canal. Look at that. Well, there goes Cuba. That was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Amphibious dude. Well, that was much easier than, than I thought it would be. Um, send the soldier this way, maybe? Why can't they take the Soviet Onion? Well, we'll see, I guess. Are you guys actually there? Huh, sort of are, actually. <clears throat> so that's chaos. Con concentrate your guys like this a little better. Enemy logistics bombed. Air support's nice. Tank experiments, and what we read about right now. Tanks are indisposable in the modern battlefield. We must find out how best to utilize them. Cast effort, of course, too. Yeah. That'd be nice. Um, what else? More cast? I'm not sure also if we can help when the uh, when the battle is here. I do that. Probably use that. You want to try to go in, maybe? Yeah, we're generally winning. This guy's probably not as thick as we are, which is always good. Causing a loss, a loss, fly loss through here. Um, okay, well, whatever. It's not very fair, but I think in the end we'll end up taking the Soviet Union. It'll give them Austria Hungary or whatever. We'll see. Supply line wise, yeah, not great.
Oh, we should be just hopefully eviscerating them eventually. You want to save all that? Just, just come here. Modern rubber, nice. Rubber, rubber, rubber. <clears throat> hey, we got Budapest. That's good. She gives quite a bit more supply to work with. Very good. Yeah, looks like they are closing in on Vienna, though. The British have been trying to do a bit too much, in my opinion. They do well. They just try to do a bit too much at one time. And... Sure. Why not? Like, with Pokemon. Why not? Buy fighting drills? Uh, better engineers? Ooh, if we could just take that tile or something, that would be grand. Cut all these divisions off and they would literally all die. Where are you guys at? Oh, you're in France. Or what was France? You guys can stay here too, you know. There we go. Should be okay. So what's the difference between these two? This actually gives you less stuff. A little more breakthrough though right now, but it's not really worth throwing it on. Alright. Marines Trace. Been quite a bit better here already. There's no Vienna, which sucks for supply. Ah, beautiful. It's almost already on the line. That's good. It's very good. How strong is the Soviet Union at this point? No idea. No clue. Oh. Oh, Greece and Bobo capitulated too? Well, you know what? I'll give that to probably Italy, actually. This looks nicer that way. And uh, the Brits can have great Zimbabwe. That does make it look nicer. I guess that's one we'll really take on this campaign. Is so you know I play this campaign again sometime, but we'll see. Oh no. Oh, we'll see. Yeah, just like that, why not? Screw it. Let's go in. Stop training. Everyone go ahead. Especially you guys. Why don't you guys enforce it, though? Max Reuter? Soviet Union. We've not even started doing you guys, which is a mistake. How does 0% from allies do not blab? Ah. Soviet Air Force. Red Army, five year plan, Peloto Bureau. NKVD. Well, alright, whatever. Radar would help. A lot of air bases actually would help too. Supply points would help. Super definitively mega help. Cool. Ah, Peanut Battalion. Yeah, with us doing all this damage, I don't think that can really hold off against us. Yeah. But that's really interesting that we can't see anything that they got, though. How much, uh, manpower do you actually have? You have a lot, Oswald Mosley. Alright, well, he's doing well. Ah, 
Oh, two people captured. That sucks. I guess it's good to make these guys mechanized instead, but that would be pretty bad to make them now mechanized, so... Air Spear already doing. Doing a good amount of damage, maybe. Maybe not, maybe, maybe not. Maybe we can throw more planes at the, at the, at the problem. More fighters, nice. More planes, yes. Got a lot of naval bombers. Adrian Kell, that sucks. Oh, look at that. Encirclement. Nice job, guys. Sure. Anti tank, fighter, stuff like that. Here, how about this area down here? Engineers. For the recon, for the recon. A breakthrough for you. That'll be nice. Congress, no one gives a crap about them. Focus on the southern front for now. Still don't know anything about them. Baronens. Um. Oh, they're not that far away from capitulating. Eighty-two percent of the way there. I really don't care about Australia, Australasia, Australia. So, maybe the Soviets lost one. Wow. Campbell, John Curtin. All right. I'll do the best he can. Literally no supply around here at all. That was definitely a mistake. We're doing some serious enemy logistics bombing, which kind of sucks when we try to take it, but whatever. Is this worth 18 uh, victory points or 18% of the victory points? Probably not, but that'd be really nice if it was. <clears throat> No, oh, we would be it. Sucks. So against the Soviets, we've lost seventy-five thousand. Against them, we killed off five over half a million. Not bad. Are we really failing this hard? How? They should be suffering way more attrition loss than we're actually doing anything here. Gorky. Gorky. These guys already have logistics, which is nice. Supplies, quite a bit. These also have logistics, which is not bad, actually. You should really have this one. That's a little better for them. Special Force Dose.
Uh, honestly, there's no real point to get rid of that one. Cast effort, tactical bombing effort. Constructing planes built to attack. Tactical targets will make way our troops uh, can advance more safely. Um, I'll get out of that one because you can. Political loyalty doesn't. Eh, actually, that one's not, that one would finish really well right now. Go breakthrough. Smoking fire, victory or death. Hmm. Hmm. Static warfare, probably just smoke. This is that one. Uh, state serves the military. A heritage. Heritage sounds like more like the one we would use. It doesn't make any sense for us to use that one right now, but at least role playing wise, I think it does. Here, come back down here to just mop them up. Alright, we've been definitely pushing pushing them in quite a bit. 120,000 lost to them, 2 million from the British, 700,000 from us. Yeah, UK and America allying, not good for the rest of the world. As we've probably figured out historically, but you know, whatever. Seven attack, nice. Really crappy on defense. Really good offense. Don't let up. Nice. The eviscerator. Very good. Oh no, I wanted to be a D rock. What? Anyways, Poland. You get Lithuania. We get Canada. The Italians. Not Catholic Mexico, but the Italians get Bulgaria. And I'll take everything else because we can. I might need a little bit more score than this. Uh, bombings, whatever. I'll go tickets to invade these guys. Okay, we can do that. I don't know why, I just want to invade Iraq as America. I just feel like it, I have to do it. I don't really want to fight China, but everyone else... Oh! Jesus Christ, guys! You invaded in China yourself. The second time in, like, two centuries. I'm not sure if sending Marines down here is the best idea, but, you know, whatever. Feels like such an American thing to do, but we're going through it wrong. I think we invaded through here. And it doesn't whatever it was. Alright, let's see. Let's take it on Iraq. The Polish Spanish allies, which makes no sense. And it makes no sense why Oswald Mosley would even want to go to war uh, with anybody, really, but you know, whatever. Ah, the invasion of Iraq. Colorized. The British Empire is doing extraordinarily well. Man, Mosey is such a dude. Such a dude. Can't quite take Baghdad, but with a little bit of extra force, and by a little bit of extra force, I mean like bombers and other divisions showing up eventually. 1,400 bombers, but they can't bomb anything. 
It is useless as a Luftwaffe in Tierno. Obviously, they should only belong to us. Nice. Don't lose Kuwait City. Oh boy. Well, Kuwait, I guess. Oh, there goes Iraq. Well, I think that's going to be it for us. The world's definitely turned out to be a very weird place. And you know what? I kind of like it. But that'll end, its, end this campaign for us right now because at this point, I don't think anyone can really fight us. Maybe it's for China, but even then, almost all of North, North and South America are under ours. But if you enjoyed the campaign, leave a fat, stinking, uh, uh, fascist William Dudley Pelly like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous, tremendous, tremendous rest of your day.